Sí, sí. Ah, sí. Ah, good friend. Yeah. <laughs> she knows Gujarati. Does she? I'm a little bit. I think she's from Pakistan. But she knows she has so many Gujarati friends. You know, her brother-in-law is from Gujarat. You know, they are Kenyans. Yeah. Uh, Gujarati people in Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, is she from Africa? Not her, but her uh, relatives. She was born here. Achha. Oh, right, right, right. So, were you, were you a born Christian? No, I was a Hindu. Really? And you became a Christian? Yeah, when? I had an encounter with Jesus. Ah. I was looking for God and uh, his country spoke to me. And really? my dad spoke to me too. So then I knew the truth that, you know, when I... There is a life after death, I realized that. And um, you know, I went to this church, my friend took me. You're right. And uh, they, their pastor was preaching, without being born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So I said, what is born again? I'm already born again. Yeah, yeah. So when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, yes. that's when the war began. Right. So when I did that, I could see a complete transformation. So, so my name is Shabi, you are? I'm Kritika. Kritika. And she is? Zina. Z Zina. Yeah. Z E N A. With a T at the end. Zinat. Nice name. Very nice name. Uh, Zinat, I can remember. Uh, sorry? No, I'm a Muslim. Okay. Yeah, we are just talking about where we are from. Yeah. Yeah, please ask me questions. <laughs> he wants to ask the questions. I was having a nice conversation with Ritika. <laughs> yeah, can I just ask? I mean, like I say, I'm always wanting to know about people and what they accept. At the end, it's everybody's choice. But how did you know it was Jesus? You know, Jesus. And whosoever you will not perish. Do you want to answer this? I have everlasting life. He's asking, how do you know that it is Jesus who spoke to us? Yeah. How d if, if you didn't know about Jesus before, how did you know it was Jesus? The Bible says that the... No, at that time you didn't know anything about the Bible, Zina. See that when a little child is born, yeah. he doesn't know who is the mother. Right. But the minute he hears the voice of the mother, he knows it's my mother. Yeah. Maybe little baby hasn't seen the mother. Yes. But he knows inside. Yeah. This is the voice of my mother. Yeah. Even the touch. Yes. So do I know the voice of my father? So you will know the voice of your father when you really re release your heart to the God Almighty. Right. Because Jesus did not come to bring us a religion. There were so many religions already. Yeah. Adam sinned and turned away from God. Yeah. But Jesus came. Why was he born as a Mary, Mary mother, virgin? Because he didn't want to be born the sins of the Adam. Right. He was born by the word of God. Okay. And he had no sin. Right. And that's how he can take our sin. Right. And free us from that sinful nature of, yeah. of Adam. And brought us a new, new, new creation, which is born of God, and bring us close to God. Yeah. Right. Th this is not about religion. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But, but you know, when you say, uh, like I said, I, I like asking the question. Yeah, sure. If, please. if, if uh, Jesus Christ was born of Mary, didn't Mary have sin? See, if you, are you, I'm a doctor. I right. don't know what oh, you good. are. Oh, good. I'm not a doctor. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, you know the uh, if you know the the, uh, the body of a mother, yeah, uh, so body of a person, yeah, it comes from the mother's mother's body. Okay. So if a man and an ape sleep together, you know when he was a ape will be pregnant and bring a child who look like an ape but speak from the father's. When Jesus was a baby, right? It's opposite other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will look like an ape because mother. Uh, when the child is conceived, the blood is not coming from the mother, it's coming from the father. You. Right. Go and do the research, you find out. Okay. So God needed a, 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 God needed a, a, a body. A body. Sorry, can I just understand? The blood comes from the man, you are saying? Yes. So when Jesus Christ was in the womb of the mother, was blood in the man, in the infant Jesus? Yes. The, the, Which the blood, blood was that? from the word, from the word, because Gabriel brought the word and he said, but you will be pregnant. No problem. But as you say, as a doctor, 
How is the child nourished? Child is nourished when the, when the genetic, the gene from the parents, uh, from the father. So, um, no, no. How is the child nourished in the womb? In, in the placenta. Yeah. It created by the genetic process of the man's gene, a uh, man's seed. So I, I, everything comes from the man's seed. So Nothing's you, coming from the mother. So you, Only thing, so, mother is just a host. So you are saying that the child. Jesus, when it was growing in Mary's womb, was totally detached from Mary. Yes, and also and many other. Even when I was, on your, you were in your mother's womb. Right. So you was were, there no umbilical cord connected? Umbilical cord connected. What is that for? But the, because the mother is the hosting. Yeah, yeah. But what does the umbilical cord allow the the infant to have? From the from genes the mother. Of the father. The genes of the father. The blood blood is created. How? So the cord, cord okay. is just... Uh, the blood is never mixed with the mother. It's right, okay, but how does the child grow? It's from it's the from the genes of the man, man's seed, from the uh, father's seed. So the, so the people who are... Who are so so, so if, a ma if a mother smokes excessively, drinks excessively, will it affect the child? It would. So there is some connection taking place? It is connection, but it's not blood. It's not no, no, blood. I'm not talking about the blood. See, you see, see, when the, a... see when the sperm meet together. When the sperm oh. is meeting together. Yeah, sorry. I don't, suddenly we've had cameras. <laughs> well, who are you? Because you're famous, Shabir. I guess this is me, he's a friend. He's a friend. For you, Shabir. That's fine. If you are okay, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, the, when, the, when the sperms meet together, okay, right. you, you find out. Google search and everything. Okay. The ge genes come from the father. Right. And the body is just a host. Sorry, when you say genes come come from the father. The seed. Well, I, uh, right. No, no. I, I'm, okay. just, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. You'll be in a better position to answer this. Uh, what kind of DNA are you talking about here? The DNA are you talking about the mitro mitochondrial DNA see, or? See, 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 the thing is, is yeah, I, I don't want to go into too much into detail of that. You can go on Google and research about this yourself. Okay. What I'm saying. Okay. But what I'm saying is, the the father's, see, the father's genes yes, yeah. determine the life of a baby in the in the womb. Mm. Right. You understand that? Okay. Okay. So the body of a woman is just a host. Right. And, I can. And, and a man uh, will be created in the form of. A right. Man. Are you saying that there's no fusion of any kind taking place see, between the egg and the sperm? No, there is. Right. right? Okay. But so the life is coming from the father. No, no. One second. So I. I on, on my, my focus. You try and take my focus away. No, no. I'm not. I'm trying to understand yeah. the mechanics. So what, okay. I'm telling you that. Adam sinned, Adam sinned, and he cut off from the fellowship of God. If you read Genesis chapter 1, you understand okay. that he sinned, and he cut off from the fellowship of the God. Okay. So now, as, so, as soon as Adam accepted what devil told him, that Adam was walking under the guidance of the devil. Okay. So it's, it's spiritual law, who you believe, you function through that. Okay. He stopped fellowshipping with God, but he was fellowshipping with devil because he did the same thing what God told him not to. Okay. Now, the, the Adamic power that Adam had, Adam has a lot of power that God gave him. Okay. The Adamic power that Adam had was um, functioning with the devil. So devil become more powerful and he became the Yeah, but how do we know that? Because this is in the Bible. Where? In Genesis chapter 1, go and read, read it yourself. Uh, I have and actually then, read it. Yeah. But where does it say that what you just said is actually what happened? Yeah, let me explain to you. Yeah, sure. And then that person is walking away from God. Now you cut off from the fellowship from God and right. you're walking away from God. Okay. When you're walking away from God, how can God help you? Okay. Because, is because the, God tried. Yeah. Genesis chapter 1, uh, mm. verse 6. He said, uh, second chapter, uh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 6. Somewhere along there, he says, because I haven't got my Bible yeah, on me right now. Not to worry. 
that he tried to walk with Adam and Adam won't listen. Right. So he said, I cannot strive my spirit with Adam any longer. So how, what, because God cannot force people. Okay. Cannot force, okay, I'm going to shut everybody down and you worship me. This is not how God made Adam. Right. God gave us a free will. Yeah. And he wanted to give a choice to Adam as well. Yes. He said, don't eat from this. But yeah. he chose to eat. Yeah. He said, if you eat, you will die. But you know, Zinat, I agree with what you are yes, saying. Let me finish Sorry. This. Yeah. And sure. then, what can we do now? Now right. God has to come. Now people start worshipping this religion, that religion, that religion. But that couldn't bring them close to God. Okay. So God says, now what do I do? Nobody is fellowshipping with me. Yeah. I need to I need to go and I need to function right. somehow to bring these people back to me. Right. Okay. So God has to take a birth in the form of human because we were all yeah. human. So the human, he took a form of a human to take a birth. But he was if he would have been born with a normal process, mm. then he would have had Adam's sin on him. Yeah. That's why Jibrael came and he brought the word and told him yeah. that take this word yeah. and you will have a child. And the child was born without sin. Right, okay. Now when he's got no sin, he can take care of your sin and my sin okay. and free us from the sin and bring yeah. us back to God. This is exactly what Jesus did. Now, that miracle yeah. birth that took place is for a reason. Yeah. Right, I, I can understand all this in it. But you see, you know, if I backtrack from what you said, one thing I've never been able to understand. If we are, we are being told that the Creator put himself in such a position that he was incapable of making an independent decision. Am I right? Say again. We are saying from what you just said in your narrative that the Creator put himself in such a situation that he was incapable of doing something independently. For example? Uh, as you were saying, when he committed a sin, could God just forgive him? No. So he was put in a position where now he can't just forgive, he's going to have to t undertake a process to be able to allow people to be forgiven. So, as an example, Adam committed a sin according to the Bible, as you said. Fine, understandable. Now, the Creator, from what I have understood, the Creator is now in a situation where he has to work out a plan to forgive, but he can't just forgive. Are you, are you following? Right. So I'm thinking, right, wait a minute. I'm talking about the Creator of the universe, the Creator who created Adam, the Creator who has created all human beings. This very same Creator had the power, according to what you just said, He had the power to create another human being, Jesus Christ, as a man. Yeah, He had the power to create Adam from nothing. But this Creator suddenly now doesn't have the ability to be able to independently forgive someone. You see, I tell you, there's a consequence. The consequence. The consequence of a sin. Say, for example, if, if, um, no, how can he divorce his wife? If I just tell him he divorce his wife, and you are calling him, is it good? It's okay, be patient with it. Huh? You come across people like that, don't worry. Zinat, okay. Let me answer you. You want to hear the answer? He's on camera. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> You, you're now man enough. If you if you give a question, you're supposed to carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Yeah, carry on, Zinat. Carry, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah just carry on. So, um, basically, uh, I asked. Okay, the consequence. Yeah. Okay. So, one man rape a woman. Okay. And have a, the, the the woman have a child. Okay. Okay. Now, what the the consequence of the sin is that woman has been hurt, and, and there's another life has come come to an existence. Yeah. Now, if that woman come to that man, and, and man come to that woman and said, "I'm sorry," how is she gonna forgive him? 
in the sense that without paying of the consequence. Right. Okay. If I were to if I were to assess what you just said, and I ask myself this, you see, because according to what I understand, Jesus Christ had taught people how to pray, and he did say, "Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name." Thy kingdom come, thine will be done, as it is in the heavens. And then he goes on and says, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive others their trespasses. Yeah? Now, I am asking this question. If the rapist, from your example, came to the lady and said, I am now born again, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of the sin, should she forgive him? She should, shouldn't based she? On something. Now, the best on the he just told you. Yeah, he. Yeah. Okay, so let me now, explain to you, right? Sure. He was talking about the salvation that he's bringing in. Who? The salvation that Jesus was bringing in. No, no, I'm and talking about the, the example that you used. Yeah, that if yeah. this guy, this rapist, then says to the girl that, look, I'm a, uh, I believe in Christ now, please forgive me. Will he? Will she forgive him? See, when you, when you, if you have Christ, if you have Christ, you have received forgiveness from God. Yes. And God said, okay, my son died for you. Yeah. He was sinless and took your sin. Yes. And then the kingdom. Now you are free from your sin. Yeah. So now I receive forgiveness from God. Yeah. Someone sinned against me. Yeah. I must forgive them. Right. Okay. So the rapist will be forgiven by the lady. Yes, why she Okay, be now suppose the rapist came and said, look, please forgive me, but he doesn't believe in Christ redeeming him. Will she forgive him? If he believe or not believe is not a factor, that woman believes. What if the woman doesn't believe? If the woman doesn't believe, they don't have the power. Because if they are damned to... Is the, is the power they are damned to condemnation anyway. Right, well, if they are damned to condemnation, then it won't matter whether they are raped or not. See, if you're not, if that you're doesn't not, make sense, does but it? If you if you're walking without God, doesn't really matter what you do. Agreed. But then the problem here is this: that the forgiveness of sin is for sinners, not for people who are walking in God's uh, shadow. So the very fact that see, Jesus, see, see, when you say God, yes. we need to see who God is. I agree, but we, I totally agree. Yes, I understand. Totally agree with you. But you see, now here it is. You see, if I look, see, God is so holy. If you read the Old Testament, yeah, you find out with the Moses, yeah, that Moses' uh, brother, yeah, God told him, don't cross the line, yeah, because if you touch, you will die, yeah, because he's so righteous. Right. right? But you know when you because say God is so righteous, yeah. and He wants us to come to know the truth. Yes. He sent Himself to us yeah. in a form right. of man. Right. But don't you think? Because we are all human. I see what you mean, but Zina, think about this, and I want you to think about this. God is so holy, yeah? God is so holy that we can't approach Him. That's why Jesus came. No, so you are saying God then came down Himself? Yes. Okay. But now here's a question I've been asking he myself. Came in the form of a man. No problem. But my question is still here that if God is the one in the Bible, yeah? He said in the Old Testament that, you know, the soul that sins, it shall die. Have you heard of this? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. The next verse, yeah, it says, The father shall not bear the iniquities of the son. And the son shall not bear the iniquities of the father. The, right, okay. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Yeah. Now, the, no, it's saying the soul that sins, it dies. But then it says that the father shall not carry the sins of the son. The son shall not carry the the Bible. You know what actually happened at the cross was yeah. there was an exchange between the yeah. sin and the righteousness of God. Yeah. Sorry, Ritika, can I correct you? What I'm quoting is in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 20. Yeah? So check it. Now, the, the important thing that I wanted to ask Zenith is this. The last verse says, if you were to turn from your sinful ways 
and repent, then you shall surely live, you will not die. Yeah. Now, it is saying to me there that if I ask God for forgiveness, God will forgive me. And if he forgives me because I've turned away from sin. In the name of Jesus. No, it doesn't say that. No. That's what I'm... No, I haven't. I have read all of it. No, no, you are so, reading from your mind. No. That's why you need to receive from your heart. Okay, but Ritika, what I am saying is, look, this was in the Old Testament. When the idea of Jesus Christ coming and dying was not available. It is written, the whole book is about Jesus. If you see, the whole Old Testament is written about Jesus. Yeah. It's not about uh, Moses or it's not about uh, other, you know, like Muhammad yeah. or any other I know, thing. understand, I understand. But the whole Old Testament is written about Jesus and that Jesus has come. Yeah. So now after the, the resurrection of Jesus, his disciples have written the New Testament. Okay. So it, the whole thing is from God. Yeah. So what, what the Bible says is the sin that was exchanged at the cross. You know when the yeah. when uh, Jesus went on the cross, yeah. right? The sin was gone on him. Yeah. So the chastisement of peace was upon him. Yeah. The Father punished for the sin yeah. of the mankind yeah. upon him. Yeah. So there is no other salvation yeah. under under heaven yeah. even Apart for from the mankind that. under the name yeah. of Jesus other than the name of Jesus. I I have no problem with what you believe, Vitika. It is Ritika, isn't it? Yeah. Ritika? Ritika, yeah. yeah. You see, Ritika, I don't have a problem with what you believe. What I'm trying to say here is, if you look at the evidence, yeah, you said that the whole of the Bible is about Jesus. No problem. But what I'm saying is, look, if you look at the contents of the Bible, where, G where in Ezekiel, it clearly says that if you ask for forgiveness, God will forgive you. Jesus. But this is now, Ritika, I can understand what you believe, but now you have a problem. Because in the Old no, Testament, no, no, I'm talking about the book, not yours. No, yeah. even the book is not problem. Okay, tell me. You know, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. We okay. cannot just say, oh, please forgive me. You know that that way Ritika, was saying. Just yeah? one second. Why can't we just say, forgive me? You can't. Why? For example, you killed him. Yeah, yeah. in the name of Jesus, you did not, but you yeah. killed him, for okay. example. Yeah. yeah? And you're telling to God, please forgive me. Yes. And God forgives. Yeah. What's wrong with that? God forgives you. What's wrong? What about his blood? Now, one second. There is now, no justice for him. No problem, Ritika. But here his is... blood has been shed and you killed him. Right. So okay. It, is, no, it will not be just. The just God cannot forgive you without giving justice to him. Right. Can so he give him? That's why he gave his son to die in your place. That's so fine. That the death, the, the blood that was shed, you know, has been shed again. The pure blood has been shed. Yeah. Because in that time, then he can let you go on the basis that you killed him, but that's not punished. So he will tell him, look, I did not, I did not let him go just like that. I did not forgive him just like mm. that. I forgave him because my son died for him. Right. Okay. He died. He took the punishment from okay. him. Yeah. That's not, sorry, that is not a just God. No, I was about that to say. You see, right. the problem. If, hold on, what, can, sorry. Can I just? Can I just? Sorry to interrupt. If, 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 if he was my, if, if, if he was my father, and I committed a crime, and you decided to come and kill him instead of me, okay? What type of justice would this be? God is not going to kill him. God, God killed his own. God killed his own son. No. Why? But it's not justice. Yeah. No, because he loved you so much. You see, the, the problem. He might love me, but why would he kill his own son? He gave him son. No, the, 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 Jesus is not a, he's not just a man. He was Jesus, not born by a man. You see, the problem here, brother, the problem here is that the, the sister, the sister, no, I'm from my perspective, the sister will actually believe that God came and died. Isn't it? Yeah, Jesus That's the problem. Son of God. And that was from God. God had to give a remission of sin. You now, cannot let him go because punishing someone else. You see, no, it's not. Did Jesus say, why have you forsaken me? He did. He did. But you see, why did he say that? He did. Why have 
have you forsaken me, but forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Who was he referring to when he said that? Why, why you have forsaken me was not for Jesus. That time he was a sin. He was a man. He was completely man on did the he cross. He, did he know he was God? That's why he came. He was a man and he was listen, God. Listen to me. Don't walk. Don't walk. This is the truth. The day you die, you will know. You know the truth. Remember my word. If you but see you have no problem. call to Jesus. Even the time of death you will Zinat, be saved. I have no Why? problem with what you are saying. Because but now you are saying Jesus is a liar. Jesus is a liar. You are saying he's a liar. How? Because you just said Jesus died for my sin. Yeah, so a, every sin I commit, I am already forgiven because he died for my sins. Like if but you have, have to accept him. You Sorry? have to accept his forgiveness. No, you but if I don't accept him, is this a sin? Yeah, you see, then you it's it's a sin, you're but I am already forgiven. You don't accept it. it. But with this logic, I am already forgiven. No, you have to receive it. I, but, see, see, listen, 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 listen. but what did he say? He said, God, for they do not know. So I don't know. That's why we're telling you. Yeah, that's why we're we don't knowledge of perishing. Pleasure meeting you, Zina. You. Look after yourself, okay? <laughs> Rithika, thank you very much. Look after yourself, okay? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry.